savings of three persons p q and r in five years 11 12 13 14 and 15 are in the are given in the following passage all the figures are in rupees thousand so basically we are trying to you know extract the data on savings of three persons p q and r for the years 2011 12 13 14 and 15 right and a lot of data is given here in terms of a passage we have to you know find it refine it and get it in a simple tabular form let's say so let's let's make the table first right what happens uh yeah it would be something like this this is let's say 2011 2012 13 14 and 15 and p q and r three persons that's it just fill the gaps read the passage and fill the gaps some information i'm sure will be available directly others are, will be given in terms of you know in relation to the other values so p and q's savings for the year 2011 and for 2012 is same so p's and q saving for the year 2011 and for the year 2012 is same uh now i i honestly i actually don't know should we assume that p savings for 11 and 12 is same or P's and Q saving for 11 is same and then P's and Q saving for 12 is same. P's and Q savings for the year 2011 and for the year 2012 is same. Now, it, it can be taken in both the ways. Like for example, P in 11 and P in 12 is same. Q in 11 and Q in 12 is same. These two are equal, these two are equal. Or these two are equal and then these two are equal. Let's, let's say this is, let's say for example, this is P. This is uh, P. And this is P, this is Q and this is Q. You understand? I think, yeah, I think what it should mean is 11 and 12. The savings of P in 2011 and 2012 are same. Savings of Q in 2011 and 2012 are same. So I'm taking the values of P, P and Q, Q. Or let me take X, Y. Don't get confused with P, Q again. Yeah, let's say this is X. This is X. Here's Y and this is Y. Next statement, uh, and then in the year 2013, savings of P decreased by 25 percentage the amount in the year 2011. So in 2013, savings of P decreased by 25 percentage with respect to 2011. So if it is decreased by 25 percentage, it will be only 75 percentage. 75 percentage of X in 2013 is going to be 75 percentage of X. So once we get to know what is X, all these three can be filled. Now in the year 2014, the savings of P is 60. Okay, so in the year 2014, savings of P is 60. This is directly given to us, right? This is 2014 and 2015, yeah? And this is 150 percentage of the savings in 2011. This 60 is 150 percentage of what we saved in 2011. So basically, it's this 60 equals to 150 percentage of X. So X will be 40. Yes or no? This is equal to 40. This is 40. X was a variable then now we have got to know it's 40 because 150 percentage of 40 is 60. So if this is 40, this also would be 40. Yes or no? And this is 75 percent of 40 which is 30. 75 percent of 40 is 30. So we have only got four values of P, right? In 2015, the savings of P increases by 5,000 in comparison to previous year. In 2015, it increases by 5,000. So if this is 60, this will be 65. Remember all the values are in thousands. So this is 60,000, this will be 65,000. Yeah? Next. Uh, if in the year 2011, the ratio of savings of PQR is 8 is to 10 is to 7. Okay, so this ratio in 2011, he says the ratio is 8 is to 10 is to 7. Now we know what is 8. 8, eight parts are 40,000. If 8 parts are 40,000, meaning each part is 5,000 rupees, right? 40,000 refers to 8 parts. 8 parts are 40,000 means each part is 5,000. So 10 parts will be 50,000. 7 parts will be 35,000. And if this Y is 50, this Y also will be 50. Yeah? And the savings of Q in the year 2013 is half of the savings in 2012. 2013 is half of 2012. So 2013 will be half of 50. Half of 50 is how much? 25. And savings of R in 2012 and 2015 is same as savings of P in 2014. What is P in 2014? P in 2014 is 60. So he says savings of R in 12 and 15. 12 and 15. 12 and 15 is same as P in 2014. So this will be 60 and this also will be 60. Average amount of savings in 2013 is 100 by 3000. Average in 2013 is 100 by 3. This average is 100 by 3. 
for this particular year. See, average is 100 by 3, meaning total should be 100. For three persons, if the average is 100 by 3, the sum of their value should be 100. This is 30 and 25, 55. So this should be 45. Only then the sum will become 100. Yes or no? And average can be taken as 100 by 3. Next, amount of savings of PQR in 14 is 12 is to 11 is to 8. 12 is to 11 is to 8. Again, 12 parts is 60,000, meaning each part is 5,000. So this will be 55,000. 8 parts will be 40,000. And the savings of Q in 270. Done. Now you can answer the five questions very easily. So how much time does it take? Not more than, sorry, not more than a minute, right? I mean, okay, maybe a little more than that, about one and a half minutes or two minutes maximum. So within two minutes, you'll fill this table and then answer three, four, five questions asked very, very easily, very, very quickly, right? We have only one question here, which is, what is the difference between average savings of P in five years and average savings of R in five years? So find out the average of P, average of R and take the difference. Average of P and average of R, right? Average of P minus the average of R. What's the average of P? Find the average of P. Uh, 40, 40, 80, and this is 110, this is 170, 170 and 65 is 235. So this is 235 by 5 minus average of R. This is 95, 140, 180 and 240. Average is going to be 5 by 5, 1000 should be the answer. 1, 1 here it gets 1000, right? Because all the values are in thousands. We get minus 1, don't worry about the sign because it's difference. Difference is only the magnitude, not the, the sign doesn't matter. You're getting it? Average of P is 170, 235, yes. Average of R will be 80, 120 and 240, yes. So 5 by 5, 1000 is the answer.